One thing is certain, Haran's days are numbered. Hello, 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 and welcome to Threelo, the show for your first look. Today, we are playing Dying Light, one of the most anticipated games for 2015. Even though we're still early in 2015, and we're all glad it's come out when it has. I'm Sir Jaxie, and I'll be your host for today's episode. Now, let me take and tell you a little bit about the game before we jump into the other things. Dying Light is a action RPG. It is developed and published by Techland, and it is coming out, well, today, January 27th, 2015. Now, it's a single-player game, a multiplayer game, a co-op game. It has, if you buy it on Steam, Steam Achievements, Steam Cloud, full controller support, and Steam Trading Cards. Cards, that is. Now, according to the little blip from the publishers, Dying Light is an action survival game presented in the first person perspective. The game is set in the vast in a vast and dangerous open world. In fact, one of the big publicity, you know, things marketing campaigns that they did on this is that you can go anywhere and do anything. Supposedly, if you can climb it, jump it, scale it, parkour it, you can take it, get to it, and be there. So, basically, like I said, it's an open world game, and during the day you roam an urban environment devastated by mysterious epidemic, scavenging for supplies and crafting weapons to help you defeat the hordes of mindless flesh hungry enemies the plague has created at night the hunter becomes a prey as the infected grow in strength and aggression but even more lethal are the nocturnal inhuman predators that leave their hives to feed you will need to make use of all your skills and any available means to survive till dawn now New to this episode of Three Low, I'm going to do a quick rundown on the minimum and, ma and recommended specs. Of course, the minimum are not always the minimum, and you'll see that here in a little bit. So, operating system, you have to have a 64-bit operating system, be it Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1. This will not run on a 32-bit operating system. The minimum processor according to Techland is an i5-2500 running at 3.3 gigahertz or an AMD FX-8320 running at 3.5 gigahertz. The recommended processor is an i5-4670K at 3.4 gigahertz or an FX-8350 at 4.0 gigahertz. Now, when I say the minimum requirements are not always the minimum requirements, that's true because I'm going to be running this today on an AMD Phantom Phenom, sorry, not Phantom, yeah, an AMD Phenom 10 something, man, I don't even remember what my own processor is, I'll have it down there in the description, but it is an older processor. Now, memory, they recommend a minimum of 4 gigabytes. I don't see a game, any a modern game running on 4 gigabytes of RAM, but hey, that's what they say. They're recommending, of course, 8 gigabytes of RAM DDR3. Minimum and recommended hard drive space is 40 gigabytes of free space. So it does take up some room. Graphics-wise, the graphics card or GPU they recommend minimum they say is a GTX 560 or an HD 6870 with one gigabyte free RAM. 
and they recommended GTX 780 for an R9 290 with 2 gigabytes of VRAM. So they recommend the, you know, the latest and greatest in video cards. And you also have to be running DirectX version 11. Okay, so let's take a look at the options real quick, shall we? We have game options, music, I've already turned that down. Turned down a little bit more actually. SFX volume with a slider, speech volume, I always leave that up. You can turn subtitles on or off, you can enable hints and turn those on or off. And I do like the fact that they're putting right down here your tool tips. You can swap your weapons. This says hold F to swap the equipped weapon. I don't know why you would want to turn off swapping weapons, but you can if you so choose. Uh, show dot crosshair, which eases motion sickness according to the tooltip, so we'll leave that on. Gamma, which is, you know, that's nice to have. And field of view. I've got this cranked all the way up to a vertical FOV of modifier of plus 20. I really don't know what the modifiers are for, but we'll see here soon enough. I do like a larger field of view. Controls, you could configure it for uh, keyboard and mouse or for an Xbox 360 controller. My controller I had to take and send back because it started acting up within less than 30 days. I am going to be ordering a new one, so I'll give this a shot with a controller. But usually games like this, I like mouse and keyboard a lot better. Um, you can invert your mouse, you can change your mouse sensitivity, you can change your mouse sensitivity in the menu separate from the game, which is nice, you know. If you want a mouse that's all over the place for the menu, then you can do that. We'll turn that back down, and you can also have mouse smoothing if you so choose. That's off by default. You can also have key bindings. Your key bindings are here and you can, you know, modify those as you need to. Oops. Well, that was stupid of me. W. Um, not a lot of modification here, but you can modify it. And you, this is also where you would toggle crouch on or off. So we're going to leave those the default. I think it's interesting that they put the toggle crouch on or off here. Um, okay. The game is, like I said, co-op or multiplayer. I'm going to be running through single player tonight, not multi. But when you turn on multiplayer, you've got the option of LAN. You can, it does have built-in voice chat when you go into LAN. You could do zombie invasion at night or never. Or anytime. And you also have the frequency of co-op competitions, which decides how often co-op competitions appear. You can also take and play friends only. I'm assuming that means your Steam friends. Or you could have a private online game. Or just go completely public. We are going to, like I said, be doing the single player though. And our video controls, you can set your, you can set for best quality, balanced, best performance. So, you know, different settings. Or you can customize it. You've got your resolution settings, full screen, vertical synchronization, we're going to turn off, texture quality. Shadow map size, foliage quantity, your view distance, ambient occlusion. I'm not sure what NVIDIA HBAO Plus is, but it's on. And since I don't have an NVIDIA card, I'm going to actually turn those off. Same with NVIDIA Depth of Field. Gonna turn that off. I'm gonna also go back and make sure it didn't affect my changes. I do not like motion blur, so we're gonna shut that off. Why can't I shut? There we go. 
We'll leave anti-aliasing on and that would be all of that. So I'm just curious here real quick what a balanced is. Balance is full screen, V-Sync off, texture quality medium. So balance is pretty much medium on different things. There's your view distance. Ambient inclusion on, 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 on. Okay, so we're going to go back to... Actually, I'm going to leave these on, see what, how they affect me, what they do. I'll check them in the game. Put this back up on. Hi for now. Hi for now. Okay. So that is all of that. So, be the zombie. We're not going to do We're going to play the campaign. So it's got to be a new campaign. I really don't like the way they put these maps and these menus, I mean, at angle, but so be it. So... New game. Play. And we'll see what happens. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Jump in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Okay, so that was an interesting briefing. Okay. I told oh. you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Oh man, you should have just shot him. Fall back! Fall back! Tower, this is Jade. Get sick bay ready. 
Got a guy with a bad head wound and a bite on one arm. Oh shit, Amir's hurt? No. Amir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. One of us? We'll see. Oh, the voice actor was pretty good. Okay, we need to locate some Solomon and intercept the file. Press space to continue. Okay. That, that's always good to know. Just press space to you pinch him. You're continue. scared. Not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Run! <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Shit in my head. Good. No, the graphics aren't too bad. Punches are pretty cool. Let's go see if we can find if anybody's home. Good, where would they be? Kids had to have run off to somewhere. Anything in the fridge? I'm in a safe area. Okay. Guess that means I don't know what. Can't draw my gun. Oh, cool! I can stand on the bag. Yay! Okay, where would they be? Out the door? Yeah, to open. Ah! There they are. You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Okay, where the hell's room 190? 31, that's your number. An orange circle on my mini-map. Oh, there's my mini-map. Hey, there's a radio. To a jam. Yep, I guess not. Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizin. One more new infected. One more runner gone. What the hell's that mean? Well, I guess I can't talk to her anymore. What about the kid? Can I talk to him? 31 infected and only seven runners left. And we can't afford to lose any more people. Amil died because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti scene. Well, that dude's sleeping. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. They're not very talkative, are they? We're just getting picked off one by one. Well, I don't like taking and orders. You so. are? Crane. Uh, 31. Oh, right. Um, how's your head? My head? Got it. Listen up. Until the boss says so, you are not on the list. So go talk to him ASAP and let's get things moving. Now, if you'll excuse me. How do you feel today, Dad? Okay, well, I guess we better go talk to the boss.
Headquarters. I guess that's the boss. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Yeah, guess we go on in. Okay, where the hell is the boss? I don't see him. I don't hear him either. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there he is. Maybe that's the boss. Hey, I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good. Because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your Anderson was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antis and meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair, I'm not, I'm not lazy, I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That lost guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but you might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. Okay. Guess we went to the wrong place. Guess we gotta go find Brecken. Or we could go watch TV. Nope, I guess not. That's with the laptop? Nope, I guess not. Okay, where the hell's Brecken? Can't open that door. So much for going anywhere, any place. There's a wall! It's a door at that. I'm not lazy, you little shit. Check for lost survivor on the 13th floor. Talk to me. Smack you around. Yeah, whatever. Okay, where the hell's the 13th floor? The government? God damn, I gotta go up to the 13th floor? Where's the elevator? Wait. It says this is the 19th floor. That means the guy's downstairs. Who's this? He won't talk to me either. What about him? Oh, he won't talk to me either. Nobody will talk to me. Bunch of locked doors. Nobody will talk to me. That's you know supposed to be open world. What did the zombie say? Jeez. 18. Wait, where'd the other downstairs go? What the hell? Where's the stairs? This way? No, oh, not seeing any stairs. Who's this? Of course, he won't talk to me either. Why won't anybody talk to me? Freaking A.
Okay, what is wrong with these numbers? Because this says I'm on the 18th floor. Is there a map? There's the map. Map not available. Of course not. Quest, Awakening. Check for the lost survivor on the 13th floor. Ugh, fuck, I can't believe I'm infected. I have to stay focused. I'd better go talk to someone in charge. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, dude. That says it's the 18th floor. I obviously can't get downstairs from there. What were you doing when it began? Where the hell's the way out of here? What do I gotta do? Jump off the balcony? Gotta be another set of stairs. Ah, let's see what's in here. Nothing. Great. There's gotta be another stairwell somewhere here. Where do you think you're going? The thirteenth floor. I'm getting yeah. some stuff for Raheem. Thirteen? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Okay. Hey, there's an elevator. Shit. And there's a black screen. Jesus, how many people died here? Okay. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I... I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP, Help! hadn't you? Help! Somebody! What the hell? Yay, I got a crowbar. <gasps> awesome. Check for lost survivors. Help the survivor. Straight ahead, dude. Whoa, give me the flashlight. No? No. Ah, oh, cool. Press left mouse. I don't know what the kid said to do with the E. Jesus, you, you alright, man? I cut my arm, getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Okay, so we don't move. Can't switch my weapon. I guess we'll look around. Oh, can't open that either. Uh. 
Yeah, it's a TV though. It's over here. Oh, bedroom. Hey, God. Don't look very safe in there. I want that flashlight? Why can't I pick it up? I need to go take care of Mark. Okay, we'll take care of the dude. Oh. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Gauze! You've got to find some gauze! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Can't find a med kit. Not running at the absolute best resolution. <laughs> not, not should say resolution. Sorry, frame rate that I possibly could. Anyway, I'm running about 30 to 40 FPS, which isn't really too, too bad considering that I'm filming. Filming, yes. Uh, it should say recording. Okay, so I have to actually use Q before I can know to open the thing. Well, maybe I just wasn't close enough to it. Duct tape. There's one, let's see. Nope, I just wasn't close enough to it. Nails. Where the hell's the gauze and alcohol, though? Oh, there's the alcohol. I just gotta find the damn gauze. I'll shut off my flashlight. Anything in here? Q. Now Q has got to wear out sooner or later, I would think. I wouldn't expect it to be able to be used all the time without it dying at some point. Now see, it said Q to use the door, but then I go to use the door and I can't get it open. That's kind of messed up. Okay, where else am I supposed to go? This way. Okay. More duct tape. However, for this being an open world, it sure does seem to hold your hand pretty well. There's gauze. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Press I to enter blueprint. Okay. So, we're in our inventory. What are we supposed to do? Craft alcohol. And gauze. No. How do we... Okay. Said to push a high for... Collectibles don't have any of those. Blueprints. Ah, there we go. Med kit. How do we use it? Create. Okay. Cool. Got to turn down our mouse sensitivity some. Maybe this is what the mouse sensitivity in menus was. Whoa! What the hell? Why does it seem like something bit me? Okay. 
I do like that you can skip these after you've okay, saved them once or twice. He's pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes an alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Okay, so we got 250 well done, something. Now I gotta go talk to Rahim again. Where the hell was the elevator shaft? That's hey, this way. 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. Yeah, I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. And lots of cool stuff. Q. Oh, I almost missed that. Why can't I open it? I'm standing at the wrong angle, that's why. Nothing in it? Nope. Nothing in it. Oh, wait. And it says there's something this way. Close the door. Okay, so let's head back up. <coughs> I missed the elevator shaft. Ooh, more nails. About that. There it is. <laughs> now we got to head back to headquarters. Nice town, you know. All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous. You know that. Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges. Really? What explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. Okay. No explosives, Rahim. Yeah, Rahim, no explosives. What the hell's wrong with you? So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay. So we're actually going to stop here. I know we haven't you know, seen a whole lot, done a whole lot. But hey, three loads all about the first look. And so far, the first look at this game, I'm impressed. The voice acting is okay. You know, it's actually pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's the greatest. Um... I'm impressed with the fact that so far I've been able to run through the single player at least <clears throat> at between 30 and 40 frames per second while taking in recording and while running at pretty much the highest settings there is. That I'm very impressed with. 
Um, we'll see what happens with multiplayer, though. That's probably going to be done during a stream. And speaking of which, we will probably be streaming this since I have two copies of it. I'm probably going to be streaming some multiplayer with Shy Blue over on Hitbox TV slash Sir Jaxie. And we stream as often as we can between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. that specific standard time. Um, like I said, we're trying to stream at least three days a week. What three days? That's up in the air still. And, you know, what we stream mostly, we've been streaming right now Guild Wars 2, but now that Dying Lights Out, we're going to be streaming some of that in the multiplayer mode. So, other than that, I would definitely say at this point, if you get the extra $60, this game ain't cheap, then I like it. I think it's worth it. Um, the graphics are very good. Like I said, as far as optimization goes so far, in the little bit I've seen of it, it's pretty well optimized. Now, bear in mind this is just a first look. Only been playing the game for about 30, 40 minutes, so definitely not a review, and you know, things may change down the line. I am going to take and be doing other videos. I will also probably be streaming the single player campaign as well. So, those videos of the streams will be going up on the YouTube channel here too. Okay, well, I think I'm starting to babble, so if you liked the video, get, hit it with a like. If you didn't like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs down or dislike, but do me a favor. Leave in the comments what it is you didn't like about the video. You know, that way I can take and try and improve what I'm doing. Also, if you're not subscribed, well, there should be a big old yellow button that says subscribe. Go ahead and hit that, and then make sure you hit the gear afterwards next to the subscribe box uh, so that you can bring up the notify me of, you know, to be notified of, the yeah, updates on new videos, that kind of thing, yeah. So, until next time, I'm Sir Jaxie. Faded out.